last three months I've been shacking up here whilst I've been waiting for my leg to heal. But now that it's healed, it's time to go home. Spent three months locked up in this room, just seeing these four walls. I've been up to mischief. Thank God for my parents who helped me get from Copenhagen to Hamburg, Hamburg to Cologne, Cologne to Brussels, and then Brussels eventually back to London, all in a wheelchair, all whilst my leg was broken, back to this lovely bed where I've spent the last 12 weeks. Kind of just sitting and brain rotting, to be honest. The hard part is not letting the foot touch the ground because my right foot is my dominant foot. Um, and also when I stand up, I can feel all the blood just rush to that area. Uh, and it's almost like I can still feel the break dislodge, <laughs> which is crazy. Um, yeah, I just need to have a quick shower. So, try and have myself a quick clean and then go from there. <laughs> it's also pretty hard trying to make this cinematic for you guys as well. <laughs> Say hi to the vlog. For me, they, nobody can see you. No. Put your head on the camera at least. These guys are paying me company whilst I'm uh, uh, wasting away in Hamburg. <laughs> I'm supposed to be with them. I'm supposed to be with them. I'm, I'm supposed to be with them right now in Budapest. But I'm not. I'm here in bed because of my own mistakes. Terrible. It's morning here in Hamburg. That is probably one of the craziest sunrises I have ever seen. I think I'm getting this wave of realization of how much crap I put myself in just by breaking my leg. Got to keep my chin up, got to keep my thoughts positive um, and take it step by step. That's all I can do really. Super thankful for the people I have around me, my family supporting me. Because without them, who knows, this would have looked a lot harder than it is now. Today, we have to make the move to Cologne. And then after Cologne, it's to Brussels. And then Brussels home. <laughs> this lovely sunset and after all this time my leg is finally in the clear so i guess it's time for me to pack my stuff up and go home <laughs> uh... and i haven't actually been back to my flat for the past three months so it's going to be interesting going back i also haven't had much of a chance to post on here but mainly because i've had a bit of a rights block It looks like I've got so much stuff packed in here, but it's most of the stuff from Copenhagen. And then there was a point in between when I went back to the flat to get some of my stuff, like my shoes and clothes, so I could go to my hospital visits quite regularly. I've had like 10 pieces of clothes that I kept on rotation for the past three months. But for some reason it's manifested in like three bags. And I guess now that we packed up all the stuff, it's time to head back home. <laughs> that shot's looking crispy, by the way. Ah, I'm forgetting one thing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> when I first flew out to Copenhagen at the beginning of March for High Rocks, this is not how I expected my year to go. Sorry, I've got to stop the story halfway because look, Percy Pig Intermission, these are undoubtedly the best sweets of all time. First of all, deliciousness. Oh my god. The things I would do for a Percy Pig. All right, let's continue. Breaking a limb and being bedbound for three months will have you dependent on so many people. And some people will say it takes disaster for you to truly see the strength of your community. And boy, did I really see the strength of my community. So many people showed up for me in so many ways that I didn't expect. And I'm eternally grateful for my friends and family and this tribe that I can call a community. All these people mean so much to me and they know exactly who they are. And one thing I've learned going forward is when I make decisions, I need to have my community in mind because I hate being a burden on them. That your boy's back home. I've got so much stuff I need to get sorted, and also I'm just ready to start this new chapter. Got to get my rehab straight. I've pretty much got the walking thing down, but now it's getting myself back up to a high rocks level. Got so much stuff to organize for work. I'm starting some dental cases, and I've also got to work on this YouTube channel. So stick with me. Thank you for following me for the past few months, despite my inconsistencies. I will try and post more, and I promise, I promise, this summer I will try and post some more veterinary content as well. Um, so hopefully we can be quite regular, and 
Hopefully we can bring back the Thursday vlog. Let's go. Ah, and for me and my class, thank you for watching. I <laughs> like Toby Show, yeah! <laughs> can't stop the clocks, man. <laughs> <laughs> can't stop the clocks. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Help as well. It is indeed. You know what it is. <laughs> I have no wealth. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thanks. <laughs>